Hello, and welcome to another video from the Windows 95 guy. Today we'll be installing Microsoft Windows Server 2003 on my homemade server. So let's get into it. Right now, I am right in front of my server thing. And I'm sure you have many, many questions about many, many things. So I'm going to start with... Uh, some that may answer some of your questions. Any of the questions, bring them in the comments section. One thing, I have a fan running because it's summertime. Summer's out and it's almost, what is it in here? 77 degrees in my lab. That's not very cool. But the good thing is, is this thing, my uh, server here, this guy, he's got a uh, O2 cool fan keeping everything nice and cool in there. So. Real good. I'll show you this in a second. It's pretty hodgepodge. Um, another thing I haven't posted in a while. Coronavirus makes it very, very hard to come up with anything to do when you're at a house that has no technology. I've been at my, mom, at my mom's house for the past about six months and really all there is there is just PlayStation 4 and a TV. Everything else that I've done for videos over the past couple months, I've just taken from here. Took it over there and did videos on. But, finally, I was able to come to my dad's for a weekend. So, I can do some stuff now. So, um, I, wanted to, I wanted to update my server for a while. This thing right now has uh, Windows XP Pro. It's just some random hard drive out of the hard drives I have in here. Probably four. Four, I have three. Three or four hard drives. So a significant amount. And uh, none of them are very big. What is this one here? This is uh, 63 gigabytes, 111. That won't tell me. I think there might be. Oh, I think that might be my. Uh, I don't even know. My server has a lot of issues. One of the things being, it's not a server right now, it's just a tower with two monitors. I've always wanted a multi-monitor setup for a long time, so I have this going. It's not that, it's not too beautiful, in my opinion. Uh, this monitor here runs at 70 hertz, this one runs at 60 hertz, so there's like a problem with them whenever they're next to each other. It kind of makes a flicker, so I'm going to turn one off. Tell, but this looks a lot better. And I turn this one on. Turn this one off. And that one looks a little bit better. So it's um, conflicting refresh rates make everything kind of bad. That's in front of the camera. Um, another thing, my intro there with really weird disco lighting. Well, I've decided that I want some disco ball lights in my room. So I installed them. And I'll, it's just something different to mess with. And I think it gives it a nice aesthetic in here. It's better than just light. Hopefully you can see things well. I turned on a light above me so I can see a little bit more. Works for now. Um, I don't think there are any other things. I, re I remember a while ago I said I would do a video every week. Yeah, coronavirus made that not happen. I had two other videos in the works. I had one about uh, some of my projects I've been doing at my mom's. And that one turned out being like a 40 minute long video and I couldn't really skim it down much more. And I didn't feel like reshooting it to make it shorter. So say I blabbed on about one thing very long and the rest of it not. I just kind of scrapped that video. It was something that I was going to post because I had nothing else but it was just not good enough. And then I had another one on my uh, go-kart, but that turned out being a pretty hard video to edit because my go-kart was so loud and my microphone didn't pick up any, really anything I said. So I'm in the process of trying to uh, either make subtitles or some sort of editing where you can actually hear what I'm saying. That'll come eventually once I get it done. So really I've just been having issues. And then another thing is that my brother stopped letting me use his uh, computer to do editing. And he, I guess he got fed up with me. So I waited about 
two weeks for a new laptop. I bought a bought a newer laptop to uh, do video editing with, and that so far works good enough for starting to edit that Fox go kart video I've been working on. So I'll yeah. I can edit videos now. My old laptop I had, I accidentally uninstalled Movie Maker on it, and it wouldn't let me reinstall it. It kept erroring out. And then after that, I was using a netbook with a big monitor so I could see what I'm looking at, and that was very bad. 32-bit uh, operating system. I think it had a Pentium processor. It was running Windows 8.1, and about four gigabytes of RAM. Very, very glitchy, very, very slow. I did not enjoy using that laptop, so I just said, I'm done. I'm done for a while until I get something better to work with. And then I got a new laptop, so I can do videos again. Hopefully, if I keep making uh, trips to my dad's every weekend to make videos. I'm hoping that keeps up, because I don't like keeping you guys hanging with nothing to watch. Not a, uh, cool thing. How long have I been going on here for? Six minutes. Well, it was worth it because you guys haven't seen anything in a while. It's going to be a long video anyway. I'm installing something on my server. Yeah. About time you want to see my server now. Let's get into it. So here we are, my beautiful, beautiful server. Uh, we got some... Uh, what are these? Well, that's where my speakers are, so they're just chilling up there. This is my tower. It's in Seuss Tower. That is your model. Well, it doesn't say. That's fine. It's got a Pentium 4. It has a Zip 100 disc. It's a, yeah, it's a Zip 100, so... And it's got some extra storage. It's only 100 megabytes, so it's not too bad. I got floppy. No, it's my, it's my midis. Audiology sound card. It's got a... Kind of a little bit of everything, a uh, disk drive, but I don't have my drivers on here for this, otherwise it would show up in there. I, have, I don't have internet, I guess I'll see there. Not right now. It's been out for a while, so I can't order, or not order, look up the drivers for the drive. This is my cooling system. I need, I need a light up here. I don't know, that's not good. The thing fell down. Oops. I was trying to support it on a cassette tape. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta mess with one of the cells. I guess I'll just pull up the fan for a minute. Let's see. But, uh, yeah, fell too. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh, I have a light on here. What am I doing? <laughs> Problem solved. This is the big old cutout for my fan. And in here, let's see what I can get in there. That is my heat sink. Very monstrous thing no fan at all so I have to keep this fan on there as much as I can to uh, keep everything nice and cool otherwise it uh, overheats and not a good time a lot of erroring out a lot of times where the computer just does not want to turn on because things are too hot and it just kind of bugs out always make sure your computer is nice and cool because that's a problem if it's not uh, you remember I was talking, well, you won't remember because the video's not out yet. Uh, whenever I drop my video about my go-kart, I'll reference this guy here, Ren. I don't know if I ever say his name. This is the guy that got killed on a go-kart go last year. So, I went to his uh, funeral service and I got one of these things that stuck it on here. Yeah, good kid. Known him for a long time. It's tragic. Tragic for anybody. Alright, uh, enough about that. Keyboard here. It's an NMD. Some sort. Some sort. This is just some, uh, Dyna, Dyna Point mouse. I like the way it clicks and it feels kind of nice in the hand, so I use it. Also matches the very yellow case. I'm turn off this light now. Uh, maybe I will leave it on. Uh, um, it has an NVIDIA GeForce video card. Uh, well, yeah. Sound card, I already told you. That's what I got going here. I got two or three card drives, I don't remember. I don't really feel like going into it because this case is kind of messed up. When you try to open it up, it doesn't end up going back together very easily. 
Let's just get into it. So we'll have to start with uh, turning off the computer. Uh, once again, like I said, there's no uh, driver and windows for the uh, CD drive. So I'm going to turn that off. Wow, uh, let's just really flip right here. Uh, right. Let me get my disk in the drive. Yeah, it's a CD drive. So server uh, 2003 release. Two service pack three is the version I'm using. Yeah, that's a that's a mouthful to say. So I gotta put that in the disk drive. It comes on two discs, uh, 700 megs each. Restart. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll restart. And I gotta I gotta check and make sure the BIOS can uh, support. CD drive and stuff, so while it's shut down, see how that goes. Is it really 1230? Those clocks behind. That's alright. Okay. I gotta check the BIOS here. It's, uh, Yeah, there we go. You'll see here, this one's getting on power volt. It's because this is a 70 hertz monitor, even though it's supposed to be 60. Somehow it became 70 after a while. Weird issue. And it does not like anything 60 hertz. So, unless it's on 70, regardless, like that. Not fun, not fun. Uh, no mouse, that's so stupid. It detects the drive, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see. Ooh, device priority first. I'm gonna get DVD before the drive, so let's get that. No. Why did I make the floppy last? That's not what I want to do. Okay, I must be. That's that's what I'm missing here. All biases are a little bit different, I guess. So it should boot to the drive, uh, CD drive now. Or copy time monitor. Let's see if it'll spin up. Please spin up. It's spinning. So it's a good thing. Oh. I don't think it went to the drive. You can see a nice garbled Windows XP logo over there. Yeah, it didn't go to the drive. That's not what I wanted. So I guess what I have to do is um I don't know. I'll have to see if I can f if this drive here isn't wanting to uh, work. I'll have to swap it to a um simpler drive for the time being so that I can at least get something that'll move it. Yeah. Still 77 degrees in there with my fan blowing in cool there. Yeah. Not fun. There's that. The green light on the drive, so that's a good thing. Sorry. Priority thing. No. Okay. I think I got a reset button here. I can just do that. I'm not too concerned about the operating system here because uh, I'm not going to be using XP anymore. Using this drive. Can you boot to the drive, please? I'm going to go say no. Drive. It might end up that we actually have to change the drive because it's stupid. It doesn't like it. It's been 
heads up. Huh. Looks like a dry swap's gonna be in our future. Darn it. I really didn't want to open this mod this whole tower. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna open this up and change the drive. Here is the new drive, so I'm gonna install that and we'll be right back. So here's the side. I'm gonna rip open here. So I'm gonna take off the thumb screws. Two of them. Yeah. Another thing you notice about my hat now, my hair has gotten to the point where it's so long and so terrible that I don't want to be seen without a hat. It really is bad. I need a haircut pretty, pretty bad, but I can't see my grandma. Coronavirus. Can't be around him. My grandma's a hairstylist. She usually knows my hair. And it turns out that it's not safe to be around old people. So. Love you, Grandma. I gotta keep you alive. I need a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the inside of these things are uh, completely uh, toolless. We need tools to open these. At least now you get to see the inside of my server. And I told you, you wouldn't get to see me because I didn't want to open it. I guess uh, once I get this drive out, I'll uh, show you what I have in here. I do have three hard drives. I thought I did. I thought I had three hard drives. I had a one terabyte SATA drive that I was going to put in here as my uh, main, or, yeah, main storage. I got it for free from my uncle. He was, uh, he was in a nursing home now, and he doesn't use any of his computer stuff. So I got it. And, um... I lost it somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. It kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm not liking that really low. So it turns out, I got screws on the other side of the case. Yuck. I gotta open both sides. But I guess this would be a good point to uh, intermission and uh, show you the inside here. Yeah. This guy had my other tripod. This one here, I gotta unscrew every time I want to take the camera off. My other tripod, I can just flip a lever and go off. Minor inconvenience. I just didn't think of bringing it this time. Here's my power supply. No idea what it is, so... No, but that's a... There you go. That's the power supply. Oh, this. Yeah. An ATX power supply. A little bit modern. Uh, these are my cooling fans, which I don't know if they're on or not. I didn't really check. That's my phone going off. Uh, some cables. There's the CD drive that's being crappy. Uh, that I think is the monitor. Monitor card there. Video card. Monitor card. Here's the audiology card, the sound card. I think this one down here is a modem. The extra USB port section here. I don't think I'm even popular with that. Here is the cooling fins. Which how does this? This is surprisingly cold. That's weird. Usually this thing burns me when I touch it. I guess the fan is doing its job. It's a good thing. Um, let's see what else we got in there. RAM. I think it has two gigabytes of RAM. One gigabyte. Alright, I clipped that down. I didn't notice that was... I mean, clipped. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I got all four of them populated. So yeah, there probably is a good amount of RAM being used. Um, those are the drives. We got a Samsung drive here. The one below it I think is a Western Digital, and I think the one up here is Western Digital as well. And that one's a SATA drive. Yeah. I don't know if Windows XP actually supported SATA or not. Maybe that's why it wasn't detecting the drive. Here's another cooling fan here and the PC speaker, which I don't know if it's actually hooked up, because all the PC speaker sounds are coming through the speakers. Check that in a moment. That's really the inside of this uh, case here. It's got a lot more room up here, which I'm thinking later, once I uh, actually make this into a server, I'm going to take out these and put, like, removable hard drives in there, because opening it up every time to get these hard drives out is pretty hard, because you got to maneuver them around this massive heat piping system and all these cards. It's not economical, and I don't feel like taking a faceplate off every time either, because it's pretty brittle. 
I've already had to fix it once. I got this out of the dumpster. So I come back to my camera noticing that it says Happy Valentine's Day on the screen. And <laughs> that was back in February. A long time ago. And this lights break. Weird. So right now I'm taking off these uh, thumb screws on the sides here. On this side. I really don't like taking off this panel. It's really tough to get off. I see more cracks in the case every time I look at this computer. Something to grab on to here. Let's see if we're going to need a screwdriver. Like I said, I really hate this uh, side panel. It's not like coming off gracefully. More plastic's breaking. Maybe I should just leave these, uh, wow, well, I'm close to the camera. Maybe I should just leave these off. Infinite airflow. That's a thought. Anyway, now to get these, uh, screws out. Anybody ever noticed that there's a little hole right there in the front of a CD drive? It's not for airflow. It's for in these rare cases when you uh, cut the power and you still need to open the drive. So push it in there. Yeah. Demonstrate this. Opens the lever and you can get your compact disc out. Beefy sound, but not like that. Stop. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, I got an LG drive. Which actually, I thought came out of this computer at some point. I don't know. I'm not going to put the computer completely back together if I don't know for sure if this drive works. I got many more. I just wanted something that had a little bit of a. Uh, Peripheral uh, advanced 
enhancements. This one's at least got the same specs as the other one, it's just it's not the same drive. Hook up the sound. does make it around. Good deal. I might sing him out of tape. Can't be out of tape this quickly. Well, I just started recording. see if it'll detect in Windows, because that would, um, do I even need it to work in Windows? Let me just check the BIOS. So that's a good thing I didn't put this entire computer back together. Got a lot of stuff in these cables. Uh, I might just switch to a simpler drive, even simpler than this. Just because it's... I just needed to work for the install. And then after that I can change my drives. Alright, change the drives again. Oh, oh. Next driving. And, uh, see how that works. Just a tad bit longer than the other drive, but I can't imagine that's going to cause any issues really at all. It should be fine. Is it got a disc in it? No. It's just vibrating a lot. I went into the setup again and uh, see if it 
detective. Not detective. Okay. I know this drive's fine. Because there shouldn't be anything wrong. Going back, and I decided to go back to the LG drive because I figured out uh, jumper issues were the issue. They have a separate slave, and these are masters in this uh, setup here. You know, I can't even say slave anymore. People think I'm talking about slavery. Computer turns, master and slave. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the setup so I don't get sued for saying the word slave in 2020. Right there. IDE master, IDE slave, master, slave, master, master. No slaves from third and fourth. It doesn't matter. Weird thing. Very, very weird thing. Got a new tape in here, so I got some extra, uh, extra time to fumble around. Let's get out of the BIOS here because uh, nobody cares about the BIOS. So let's make sure my blue priority is still fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. So let's save. I need my disk. Yeah. So, let me open the drive. Get that back in there. Let's see if it'll boot. No sense of leaving the other, other uh, screen on. This is not really a big deal. Okay. I had the boot from the CD this time. That is a good sign. Ooh, can you stop focusing? Please. There we go. Turn off autofocus. So it's got to load all its drivers and junk. Yeah, that's looking pretty mint. Crisp. This is crisp looking. Really good. Crisp. Um, no support. So, yeah, I'm gonna set this now. Okay. F8 to agree. Yeah, this is definitely an NC style uh, setup here. So, this is all in my discs. Um, it's, uh, it's got like, all kinds of. Um, You know, I'm thinking I'm just going to start fresh here. This got full 96 petabytes. No idea what this is. That's okay though. Um, ooh, no, 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 I haven't installed Server 2003 in a while. Last time I did it, it was in a VM. So it was uh, pretty quick. I guess. I don't remember. Alright, now it's uh, copying crap over. Good, good deal, good deal. Oh, uh, that CD drive really needs to be uh, greased. I can mean, hear it just moving. Yuck. And that's even with the fan on uh, my window over there. It's kind of pretty loud. Squeaky, squeaky.
clear, I guess the fans at the top of my case are blowing air in. Not a whole lot of air though compared to my uh, O2 cool. That blows a lot more air than any of these will ever blow. I think the bottom fan is sucking air out. Yeah. Anyways, the airflow comes from the back and goes up. I might switch those later. I guess if it's blowing hot air back in, that's kind of not a good idea. I mean, whoever designed this case was not very smart. This fan should be exhausting. It should be exhausting the hot air on the case. Um, right across center. Started. Starting my computer. Yeehaw. I want to boot to the disk, so I'm going to take that out. Yeehaw. Look at that. That's pretty neat that disc back in because it's going to want it. It's going to want it all. Apparently it's in server because three is easier to deploy. That's a good sign. I'm not very uh, advanced into server architecture. So I don't know a whole lot about servering and setting up servers. So this will hopefully simpler installation for me. So I installed Server 2000 in the past, and then before that, NT Server, NT 4.0. And they seem to get easier with each one, so that is a good thing. And I don't plan on installing Server 2008 anywhere on this, because this uh, tower is pretty old, and I don't think it would handle it very well. I don't really have any other newer computers that I would want to install server on. I might end up making a sleeper server out of this later. So I end up doing that. I have a server hardboard. Hardboard. Server motherboard. How about that? In my uh, closet behind me. It has spots for two processors and stuff. It's a newer, newer board. But I don't have the processors that would go into it or even know what they are. So while I figure that out, I'm using this. Alright, we're at the regional stuff now, so that's a good thing. Um, what do we got? Languages advanced. Uh, yo. Oh, I don't need any of this stuff, that's fine. What else we got here? Yeah, that's all fine too. And So come back, because I don't want you stealing my product key. Well, it appears I pulled a big dumb, and I downloaded the wrong version of Server 2003. It's the version that my product key doesn't work with. The version that I probably can't even get activated. And, yeah. Got the wrong disks, so I'll have to try again tomorrow with the right disks. Yay. Fun, fun. I wasted a bunch of time. Oh well, it'll be worth it eventually, once it's done. Yeah. So it turned out my uh, dyslexic self was reading some letters wrong in the product key. Swapping some letters around. That's why I kept thinking I had the wrong, wrong product key. There's nothing wrong with it, just I can't read. I really gotta check and see if I got dyslexic or something. Um, so, back into the thing again. Uh, after a good night's sleep. I was also very, <clears throat> also very tired while I was installing that this last night. So I was making some mistakes, obviously. Installing my network, which I don't have. I have absolutely no network action here. 
yet. It's completing the installation. That's awesome. Good deal. Good deal. As you can see, Server 2003 has higher performance. So that means you got a lot more uh, power when you're wanting to doing you're wanting to do demanding networking and application web workloads. I thought it said workloads, I can't read. Yeah, when those when those server tells me three seems to be pretty set. Pretty uh, pretty well pretty well good. Speaking of pretty well good, we only got two minutes left here. So that's cool. This installation only took two nights to do. If only I could read. Nope. It looks like we are either errored out or ready to restart, which will say it's restarted. Better uh man the helm in a second. Alright, so I wanna boot from the CD. Which is it needed? Server to the done now and this is it set up. I got both monitors going here and CD drive works. I have sound drivers in installed for the audiology sound and also the NVIDIA video card drivers on. So everything's here and I have all of my server stuff installed that I really need. So it's pretty well set. I'm pretty happy with what my results are right now. So that was my server setup video, and you'll have another video hopefully soon. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.